Yeah, let's go. I'm unstoppable, yeah. do the impossible. Right. I'm irresponsible, oh. yeah, I'm phenomenal. Yeah. I got an arsenal, oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm dropping bombs, you know. Oh, yeah. No, I'm not stopping, no. Let's go. Conquer yeah. the obstacle. Yeah. Let's to go. the top, here I go, think I'm chosen. Yeah. To be the king of rock, think the people have spoken. I can hear the tick tock of the clock, I'm in motion. So now I'm gonna pop, causing all this commotion. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes I think that I'm unstoppable. Yeah, ready to go, man. Lock and load. Lock and load. That's right. I swear to God that I could drop you, bro. Yeah. Here's the wolf lining it up for Saradox. Saradox pulls the wolf down. Sends the wolf out to the floor. Probably all that she could do to save herself from uh, further damage out of the uh, power of the wound. Smack across the back of Saradox. Saradox is used to doing a uh, very hardcore, hard-hitting style. But I will say, the road, the former uh, dimension of the Rose, in some circles she's still known as Double D Rose. She is no stranger to that either. Believe me when I tell you, I, I know she no longer goes by the name of Dementia in the Rose, but uh, there is a little bit of Dementia left in there. Nice person to the side of the uh, outside apron. The referee is being very lenient with the count. The road liner up on the uh, post, charges in. Trying to catch her on the backside, which has been her primary weapon throughout her the course of her career. I see us grabbing one of her custom made weapons as a. Uh, the board is trying to get us up collected. And she just literally broke that over the backside. The buns of steel, if you will. She just tried it one more time. Headbutt. And set uh, Sarah down. It's not, ooh, not a good position. Sardox, whether she's inside or outside the room, is just not working out well for her right now. Let me tell you, again, the road is, uh, she might not be centered on doing hardcore stuff these days, but there's hardcore left in it. She just stepped out of camera side and assumed she just dropped down on Sardox on the floor. For those of you that don't know, I guess we should might as well say it. The, the, the Wood, W-O-A-D, the one-eyed. No, that's not. That's a, the weapon of ass destruction. That, that, I was going to say that's what she calls it. The one-eyed, thick-eyed weapon of ass destruction. I was going to give the whole spiel. But as you, uh, as some people's thought, she just wears it for the aesthetic. No, that is really a... One eyed individual. One eyed and thick thigh. Going for the cover. Uh, Saradox is able to find her way out of it. Saradox has had a lot of uh, outstanding moments in the landmark arena. Northern Georgia, Korea. If I were going to say that it was one, one of these ladies' houses, or if one of them had the home field advantage, it would have to be Saradox in this particular instance. Although I'm not sure if the uh, world is really concerned about that. Doc's trying to go for a snap mare, unable to pull it off. The world breaks it free. Forearm shot across the back, puts her back into the corner. Referee's uh, checking. Oh my gosh, everything illegal over there. Not illegal, but it's just going to have to break that count. The ref's not checking. And she's literally at the point where she can pull her arms out of socket, or at least the uh, forearms, maybe out of the joints, the elbows, shoulder blocks, and then to the uh, admiral. Perhaps the referee should have called it, or, or at least made a count. But that's neither here nor there, as uh, Sandbox is now set up in the corner. It looks like Double D Rose is going to size her up. And that is the second attempt. Trying to uh, catch her with her backside. She tried on the outside, tried right there. So that's catching the big step. Uh, the kick onto your uh, spine. Perhaps uh, Sardox now looking to 
punish her a little bit more. Ace driver right into the uh, mat with the knees. And, uh, a little before, before she can even blink, just kicked out of it. This is an ox forearm shot. She seems like she may be a little bit uh, worn out right here. She's trying to pull off. Doesn't quite have the strength. I think this is just merely a case of the uh, world's superior size and strength here. Stopping her from being able to pull. And Sardox has, has had a plan. But that plan did not go anywhere. As, as the world chose not to go, so she didn't. She gave her a knee lift right into the guts. Put her down. Now she's hoisting her up. This seems to be, uh, I think this was the strange and deranged drop. That was from back in the day. It looks like she may still, <laughs> you may still have to call it that. Boom. I heard somebody that said, baby got back. I don't think, that's, I don't think anybody's going to doubt that. Although that's not, their, uh, that's not an applicable point at this uh, juncture in the match. The world is getting us up together. And uh, we got some more uh, fan participation out there in terms of the commentary. Just saw the world see her uh, getting herself uh, revved up. So she, a rear naked choke. It looked like she's going to try to put her down. Sarah is uh, screaming no. She's not, not giving in yet. The referee's right in there making sure that, the, uh, that it's not an illegal choke. I know it's titled that in the name. There's actually pressure across the uh, crawling arteries from the copper full of blood to the brain. And uh, Dox is able to escape that. Dox being a veteran knows that. I know that's not the first time she's been in that move or something similar. Found an escape. But it has not stopped the world yet. And this is a bad position for Saranox. I know the world just pulls her out. As I'm going to say, that is generally the position that she, her opponents find themselves in. Damnesia comes crashing down. Across their skull. Now the fans. It didn't look like a Lord is going to give them what they want. She's she going to crash down on it, but she's sitting there and go. Sweetness has gone out to get in the steel chair. He's trying to get Sarah Knox uh, motivated. Here comes the chair. Just served us up at the last minute, stopped the chair by kicking it back into the face of the wall. That might have shaken up just enough to get some sort of advantage. Saradox now sizing her opponent up, looking for some sort of opportunity. Maybe she trying to catch her in a cutter, perhaps, but the wall stopped her. We'll never know what Saradox is going for because the wall countered it into the ropes, took underneath the clothesline. Both of them each other for shots, but again, the superior size and strength of the wool just wore that out. Reversal by Dox to the ropes. Power slam, big show of power by uh, Saradox. Show of strength there, using the momentum of the wool to take her over, float her into the bin, but it was not enough. And I would have to say, as uh, traveled as Saradox is, I would tend to believe that this would be a huge match for her. As uh, the world, WD Rose, Dimension Rose, as uh, have you choose to know her. She just tried again with the wrong portion of her anatomy to attack. But I was going to say the world is pretty, very good. Traveled drop kick and always able to break out a surprise. She just caught Sarah in the wrong place. And Sarah is indeed in the wrong place. Now that she's got herself posted up against the corner with a chair, and oh my gosh! This Damnesia, and Damnesia on its own is enough, but when it comes down with a chair, and she's got the backside in her face. For the pin. I've been covering the world for some years now, and to this day, to this day, I've not seen anyone, no matter who that person is, 
kick out of Damnesia. It has been a show-stopping maneuver. Lord has uh, taken care of business and she just knocked her out and put her, put her down for the count. I was uh, earlier saying that this would be a, a great match for Serdox if she could pull off the win, but unfortunately she came close but no cigar. So she has been carted out of the ring, but back in the ring we have the Lord, weapon of ass destruction. And she adds another victory to her checklist. Thanks for tuning in, everybody.